Hello boys and girls, 1129 29th Friday, September 8, 2017. This, I'm going to show you how I went through this radio, okay, while I still have it here. Alright, so now this is the top of it, and then here's the front of it. Here I'm trying to show the uh, stereo tuning light works, and then the AM tuning light works, and then again, close up the AM tuning, and then here's the uh, uh, FM tuning and stereo light okay and then um, that's the uh, input end it's a better view of the input end okay final line in line out on top your left to right mics and on the bottom is your both speakers and your quarter inch headphone jack and back here you've got uh, world voltage selectable your uh, DC input and your AC DC switch because the line is is uh, connected to the radio it stores in that little compartment back there and there's the compartment for that and where the batteries go. All right, and that's a full picture of the back. Um, there's a tune end, that's the bottom end, and that's the top end again. So now we're going to open the radio. Where uh, This is where all the screws go. Here's a close-up view of the screws go. They short, uh, longer ones to the outer corners, really long ones at the bottom, and then uh, the four, at the short ones at the top and short ones in the battery compartment and AC. And we pop it open, and then uh, we got the AC, I mean the uh, two antenna wires right there. That's where they plug in at, okay. And this is just a view of the, uh, with the power deal. And here it is flopped open, and then, um, let's see here, this is the AC, uh, let's see, red and black, go to red and black, okay. That's just back side of that, and then here is the uh, cassette deck uh, motor view. And then this is just this circuit board, that circuit board, and the whole thing. And make note of, oh, I forgot to get up my pointer. Where's my pointer coming? I do this every time. Okay, let me get the pointer thing. Because this radio is on a chassis. So you have to remove uh, this screw here, this screw, that screw, and this screw over here. Those are your chassis screws. And you're going to remove, and then of course, and then there's two more screws, there's uh, three more screws. There's this one here, this one, and then this one over here you have to remove to be able to remove the whole chassis from the radio. Okay? Mind you, there is still a, um, I'll show that next picture. There, okay, that's the uh, handle, uh, handle detail, little plastic deals you need to have. This little thing up here is your, uh, where'd my tuner, here it is. This little thing right here you have to remove, it's one screw, that's your uh, tuning indicator, LED. Here is the unit uh, flipped over, finally. Okay, and then that's a close-up of the uh, cassette deck. That's the amplifier, which is a 5.8 uh, watt dual channel amplifier. And that's just a view of the cassette and the one belt. Okay, had to remove the, uh, uh, the volume control things, 11 millimeter. Okay. And this is with it removed. Now this right here is the one screw that you must remove this um, green circuit board to be able to get to that one screw to be able to remove the cassette deck to be able to replace the belt. Okay. And then here is the, uh, well that's just the, okay. And then here I had to, this is the wires for the um, motor that I had to unsolder. That's a close up view. It's red on this side and standard on that side. Again, it's red on this side and standard on that one. Okay, and again, red, so I was able to see the red thing on there and it's negative. Okay. And then these are the, let's see, um, this screw and this screw, I think, was the two screws you have to remove to be able to remove this to be able to pop up to get the belt off of the flywheel. Okay, there is the old belt as I took it off. It was uh, five inches or better. Okay. And this is the old belt right here. This is the new round belt. See how this one's been deformed? Okay. And then here I tried replacing the idler. That's the old idler tire. My idler tire is too thick, so I put this back on. That was, anyway. And so now here's the view with the belt removed, and this thing popped up so you can get the belt off. Okay. That's the motor. It's a 9 volt, uh, 2400 RPM clockwise motor. It does have a speed adjustment in the rear, although I didn't need to do it on this model. And then this is the, one of the screws that you have to remove on the side of the cassette deck to be able to pop up the uh, 
thing. And then these are the two screws that you have to remove after you remove the, the main circuit board with the amplifier on it. You have to remove this screw and then there's a screw over here. There is the other screw there. It's underneath the board. Difficult to get to. Okay. Then here I don't know what I'm showing. I think this is where the extra long screw goes. There's just one. Okay. That's just the... Okay. It's a 4 ohm a max 10 watt speaker. Okay, and the other, the tweeters don't uh, have a designation as far as their ohms or wattage. And then this is the, uh, uh, we'll just, oh, these are the uh, little black things. These are, these were all broke. Okay, so I replaced it with some felt by cutting the holes in it. These, anyway, they're all broke. They're, okay. And so here I put new felt up in here to protect the controls from getting dirt. This is the ship box. And that's the picture I just took moments ago. All right, so now, without further ado, let me let me go and uh, I'll just flip this thing up. Let's see here. So here we go. Here it is. Uh, let me light out. Okay, so there it is. All right. Let me, and uh, I don't have my stereo microphones hooked up to this, but here's the tape. So I don't want to sell that song, but that's how it works like that. Uh, and of course the radio. Comes to put on a display of touchdown fireworks. SMU and the University of North Texas this Saturday the 9th at 6 p.m. on the SMU campus. Hey, it's the Hardline here to let you know the Labor Day sale at Sleep Expert. Well, oh, thank you. You go deep, deep under. Now, for a limited time, kick any item and spread your payments over five years with zero interest. How about a nine thousand dollar diamond eternity event, and you pay only one hundred fifty dollars a month or thirty. Anyway, it gets, it gets, it gets pretty. Here, if I keep talking and turn the volume up, maybe you can tell how. Diamonds do not last five years. Zero interest. Nothing bad. Nothing bad. You hear me talking here? I'm almost shouting with this thing. Can you hear me? Tape player works, radio works, that's all I know. This has been sold. Thank you very much, kind sir. I gotta go and pack this up and get it out of here. Good day, bye bye, hope you enjoyed. Alright, turn this off.